Hello, we're going to continue reading Incredilios. Yes. And Anubis forgot what it was and just typed in Incredibilians. Or oh, some BS. Uh, we're in uh, Thought's house again. Woohoo. Th uh, Thought's house is, you know, the house, the house to be. For thought. Thought. Thinking. Thought. Thought. I'm not thought. I'm thought. Thank you. Your thought. Anyways. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna continue now. Uh, Russell's hyperventilating and freaking out. Alright, he's. Uh, we, we're, we're going. He immediately. That's where we are. Yeah. He immediately clammed up after noticing the confused look on Noodle's face. Uh, just call him, mate. I'll bet Mary's an after hours kind of lady, anyways. 2D state calmly as he moved his arm around and rested on Noodle. Uh, her name is Cherry. Carrie? Cherry? Cherry? <laughs> Larry, that's <laughs> an unusual name for a guy. <laughs> cherry! Oh, cherry! Like the fruit. If you think about it, she's around round like a cherry. And she think you might be a little bit large for her. D, please please stop talking. You know what D stands for? Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Russell shifted in discomfort, and 2D was still thinking about the question he just asked. So, yeah. Oh, you're doing the voice for new. No. No! So yeah! Call it a night! You can just do your normal voice. So right now voice. in fact! Hey. Noodle quickly <laughs> added to avoid the awkwardness 2D had just created. Russell nodded and handed the phone to Noodle so she could dial the number. His fingers were too big to hit the fucking buttons. He's big! He's not a giant at this point in time, okay? Because he could fit inside the club. He's not the thing. He's fucking Russell, whatever his last name is, DeFranco Hobbs. or something. <laughs> Russell T. Davies. Russell Franco. <laughs> no. Oh! <laughs> my, my, my chair almost fell over and he just <laughs> freaked out. Ring, ring! Cherry yes, Sam. What? Cherry stared at her phone to see a new number on the screen. Assuming it was Russell, she picked up the phone. Hello there. She cooed seductively into the phone, only to get a thick accented... That's a noodle. What? Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's Box. Oh. Hello! He's, he's back. He is the French. At this very second, Cherry wished there was a stronger gesture she could show over the phone. Rolling her eyes would do no good in this case. Is this a Box? Yes, I'm calling to speak to Goldie. <laughs> Why the hell would you want to talk to Goldie? We were talking about a possible collaboration in the future. No. Fucking no! <laughs> Cherry then quickly hung up the phone without another word. Sure, it was rude, but she didn't want to talk to Box right now, let alone ever. Ring! Ring! <laughs> Annoyed, Cherry answered the phone again. Okay, look, I want you to take your stupid hat and your French accent and shove it up your... Is this a bad time? Oh, fucking... I, I, I mean, hi! It's not you, some other... What's up? She would feel embarrassed, but Cherry was much too fabulous for feeling like embarrassment. Actual <laughs> fucking sense! <laughs> in the fan fiction. She vowed she'd never feel that way in primary school. I, uh, s said I would call and I would want to see you, I guess? He chuckled awkwardly into the phone, trying to hide his nervousness and failing miserably. Darling, just name the time and place and I'll be there. Fuck, Russell didn't have a time or place. He should have planned better for this call. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, hey there, you want to meet up somewhere? Sure, where? Fuck! <laughs> My house! Luckily, he was still standing next to 2D and Noodle. Sadly, they were now, once again, oblivious to anything around them, leaving him alone on his mission to have to come up with some sort of plan. Are 2D and Noodle in a relationship in this fanfiction? I forgot. Uh, maybe. This isn't even a fanfiction about 2D and Noodle. <laughs> okay, okay. You free Saturday? Not bothering to check any sort of schedule, she quickly answered, Not at all. Maybe because she fucking memorized her schedule, not because she's a... A diploma. How about we meet the same place for drinks and uh, see where it goes from there? A catatonic cabbage. The poor guy. She could see hear, hear how nervous he was through the phone. This was actually somehow a bit of a turn-on for Cherry. A decrepit... Why wait until trio? then? She whispered seductively to Russell. Oh no, Russell, don't panic, don't panic. That's in quotation marks. He actually said that to her. And then he said that next. I don't know, what do you have in mind? My place. Tomorrow night. Sounds good, I guess. 
I'll phone. text you the address. She then gave him a soft giggle and hung up the phone. If there was something Cherry was good at, besides singing, of course, it happened to be flirting and seducing people. Uh, there are very few exceptions. Once she even tried to flirt with Goldie and Dinah. It didn't work at that all. That is bestial. She, to this day, she's not sure if it's because they're animals or because they're gay. She Wait, should what? probably ask. Wait, hold on. Oh my god. She tried to flirt with Goldie and Dinah. Um, Isn't Dinah a girl? No. Fucking what? No. I don't know anything about yeah. the studio Kelly. She also happened to be good at sleeping with people and being out of their lives within a week. And stealing things. Russell was nice. She's a nice but match But he was Murdoch. no exception. Holy shit. She's she's nice for Murdoch, you know. Yeah, yeah if they were, yeah, but Murdoch's also a horrible person. I know they go Looks together terrible. very well. Except, yeah, but Murdoch's ugly. Oh. Uh, if they went on Saturday, she'd break her one recall. Cherry, do you want anything from the store? Dinah, are you gay? Oh, <laughs> fucking hell, not this shit again. Can you, you slam the door behind can her? Can you imagine if like your you freaking like freaking like <laughs> I don't know. Goddamn, uh, uh, set. You just show set up and you and he was like, "Hey, son, do you want, uh, you want, you want to go? Do you want me to get some Oreos for you?" And you're like, "Daddy, are you gay?" It's like, "Fucking hell!" <laughs> uh, oh, fucking hell! Not this shit again. He slammed the door behind him dramatically, leaving Cherry to assume the answer was a big heaping pile of yes. What was that all about? Why did he leave so dramatically? I don't know. All I asked was if he was gay. Goldie sighed in dispute. And disapproval. You, you, Dinah can be sensitive. Moving right along, Jenny called. Cherry jumped up quickly and shot him a look of hope. He's probably do you do gay. that? Just like when I believe, when you believe in someone, am I the person that you believe in? And when you believe in someone, that person you believe in is me. And you believe <laughs> what that the I can fuck? do it. <laughs> You've never seen Portlandia. Uh, well. Uh, she wants to talk to you about Box. Seems like she wants us to collaborate with him. This time, Cherry really did roll her eyes. Box sounds like a hipster place to get coffee. That would be a great idea. Fans! Make a hipster place to get coffee called Box. All zero of you. You don't have fans? You don't have fans. We don't have fans. Never mind. Uh, he called earlier today, but I just hung up on the bastard. Cherry, that sounds really rude. You should have fucking done that. She shrugged her shoulders and got up from the couch. If you don't mind, I have to get ready for a date tomorrow. That Russell guy called you already? She nodded with excitement. He's coming, and I want this place to be spotless tomorrow. Animals are not, we are living in a pig... Wait, animals are not, we're not living in a pigsty. Fox nodded, Fox nodded in agreement. Whatever you say, Cher. I hope he brings up that little Asian friend of his. She's adorable. That's racist. Cherry glam... Glammed... Glared <laughs> at her bed. Glam. <laughs> glam. What the fuck did I say about calling me chair? Also, Pizazz. it's a date! Not okay, so you want... All you want is cleaning supplies so you can tidy up. Anything else? A load of chocolate and, uh, pick me up some chips. What the fuck is this? I'd like some chocolate chips, please. I, a load of chocolate and pick me up some chips. Keep in mind, Peter, I don't clean... Who the fuck is Peter? Peter is... Uh... So, that's a no, then. <coughs> oh, okay, there's a song by Studio Killers called David and Peter. Mm -hmm. not right now, David and I have very little time. So, we want to give you this track before we lose transmission. Well, that artist's name lasted long, Peter. Oops, I meant Dynamink. Why do we have these names? Well, who would we be without appropriately catchy names? Probably David and Peter. Oh, so David and Peter are their real names. Okay, I get it. It's weird. It is weird. It's weird. I don't like that either. I don't like it. Don't like what? Anyways, it. keep in mind, Peter, I don't clean. I'm not gonna. Cherry gave him a pout and a matching puppy dog expression. I don't even know how to clean. The fox raised a brow. You know how to clean, you just don't want to. Just keep in mind, you'll owe me. And don't call me Peter. Thank you, Pete. And don't call me Shirley. He left without another word. <laughs> Fucking airplane. <laughs> the night was finally here. Another guy. Another date. Another Dollar. experience. <laughs> she shouldn't be nervous at all. <laughs> to be honest, she was, a, she was a little nervous, but she'd never admit that. Ding dong! Okay, Cherry, it's just another guy. Breathe. 
it's showtime. She opened the door to find a smiling Russell behind it. He was holding a giant bouquet of red roses and a box of chocolates. Cherry giggled at the sweet gesture. All of this is for me? Y yeah, yeah, is it too much? Of course not! Finding a romantic man is hard nowadays. Nowadays? Not nowadays. Nowadays. Nowadays! Finding romantic man hard is! Hard on. <laughs> Russell's grin grew wider as he looked at Cherry. You're absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> You're sorry. gorgeous, sorry. Millie. I really hope that Animaniacs comes back and they introduce Shaquille O'Neal as a new character. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and his name is Blacko. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, why? Hey, what's oh. this guy's name on your poster? It's Goimo. Goimo. It's fucking Goimo. Obviously. This one. Goimo! What is it? It's Goimo! That's his name? Yes. What about this guy? The Gribbles. This guy? Gribbles! This guy? Ge Gecko. What? What about the guy on top of him? Um, a shadow. <laughs> 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 and you defined all the chaos. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna continue. She blushed and looked into his eyes, noticing something weird. His pupils were gone. His eye color, his his whole eye was just pure white. How was he even able to see? Mm. That, by the way, is a question asked about literally half of gorillas. <laughs> when half of your band has like people literally asking, "How the fuck can they see?" You've got a problem with your individuality, like makers. Like, how do we make these guys fucking more individual? Fucking fuck up their eyes, but make them still able to see. White and black eyes. He's obviously not blind. It's almost like the blue-haired one eyes, one's eyes, but white. The blue-haired one. I like two years. Uh, that's odd. Maybe he was just born that way. Sorry. She took I'm the flowers the from place... Track, baby, I was born this way. She took the flowers from him to place them in a nearby boss. Face. This was probably the nicest start to a date she's ever had. Of course, it was a bit old school, but it was terribly romantic of him. She looked at his outfit and noticed he was even dressed very nicely. It seemed almost as if Russell was very good with dressing himself. It was starting to freak her out. Russell seemed almost as if he was the perfect catch. There was no such thing as a perfect guy, though. There had to be some sort of plot. You know what they say, all men are pigs. That's a song. Really? Yes. It's a joke song, I think. It is probably a joke song, but apparently the fan fiction writer didn't know... Because everybody knows that all men are pigs, except for the one character in fan fictions. Would you, would you like any tea? You are British, after all. He chuckled and sat down in her dining room table. No thanks, I'm good. I'm actually from New York, that's how I don't have a fucking British accent! Hmm? Oh, how'd you what? end up all the way in the UK with that band of yours? I moved. I fucking moved! Obviously! Sorry, I'm being very much more angry with the characters than they're actually being. <laughs> Got a backstory? Not one you're ready for. It involves ghosts... in his head. In his head. That's true. As opposed to outside of his head, or on the very skin of his head. In his head! If you need to know more about Russell's ghosts, Please watch, contact watch one nine 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 nine. Two nine 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 six nine forty eight thirty nine. Or watch the gorilla's song Clint Eastwood. There's the catch, right there. She knew there'd be one. She poured herself a cup of iced tea and sat across the dinner table across from him. Lay it on me. Russell was always nervous telling people about what happened to him. He didn't want to freak her out on the first date, but she asked, If you know Russell's life story, skip here. I know it, but I don't think you guys know it I'm gonna continue. Well, when I was a kid, I was regular for a while. Pretty quiet, manners in check. Weird shit always happened to me, though. Living with my mom and pops and everything was alright, I guess. I even went to the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. Okay, that's never actually specified in the backstory, just as he went to the Xavier School. Anyways. But I was expelled when I mauled a bunch of my classmates. It was, um... It was demonic possession. Okay, let me read it. <laughs> no! Yes! No! Yes. I didn't know I was being attacked. They went to the hall and saw Russell Hobbs. You're not the even blood 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 blood. doing this! I was being expelled. The possession the anxiety sent me to a combo. I was about out for about four years. My father married ex exercised the demon. I woke up, I sent it to the school in Berkeley, and we started hanging out with the other kids who were really into hip-hop. Taught me a lot. Things must be up, though. There was a drive-by shooting that killed all my friends, and they kind of sucked me up like a vacuum. I took residence in my body. They took residence in my body. At, at unpredictable mo moments. And possess me at unpredictable yes, yes, moments. Yes, 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 yes. My friend Dell was one of them. He was a rapper on Cleaning Suit. 
My eyes turned his, milky white, never changed back. My parents were so freaked out the whole thing that they shipped me off to England to live with my aunt and uncle. I started working at a record shop until Murdoch kidnapped me and forced me into the bed. So that's it. Skip to here. The room grew silent. Shut up! Sorry. Cherry's face was completely blank. Did he say too much? A part of him knew that this was a bad subject for a first date. He must have blown it. That is fucking awesome! He looked at her and raised an eyebrow. Are you crazy? Are you fucking crazy? That's the most badass story I've ever been told. It kind of turned me on a bit. <sighs> Russell was genuinely surprised. They usually scare people off, not turn them on. You have a crazy backstory too? Nothing that awesome. Cherry cl crawled onto the table toward him. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, meh, <laughs> meh. <laughs> <laughs> like that scene in, in, in the movie that's really scary, that one. Yeah. Once she got closer to him, she grabbed his tie and pulled him in. She leaned in and kissed him passionately and forcefully. Russell closed his eyes abruptly, confused on how his odd past got him there. He broke the kiss and looked into her eyes. Oh, wow, I, we haven't even eaten. We should eat. Sherry gave a devious smirk and got off the table before setting in, settling into his lap. You know, I can be your main course. Holy shit, is this about to... Is this gonna be a... A porn? No. Are you no, sure? I, I checked, I checked. What's the rating? Uh... Is it T for teen? It's T for teen. Is it E for... I don't even know what fucking the E rating for uh, fan fictions is, but it's worse than M. It's worse. E is for exclusion zone. E is for extreme! <laughs> <laughs> she grabbed the pins in your hair and took... E is for extra fuel. She grabbed the pins in your hair... <laughs> no, no. Uh, M is for mini and W is for wumbo. <laughs> She grabbed the pins in her hair and tugged at them, letting her currently red locks fall gracefully under her face. She pushed them aside and kissed him once more. She could feel his groin getting larger and started to get more and started to get more turned on. Just like your entire <laughs> groin area gets larger when you get aroused. It just like keeps growing at an exponential rate. If we Jesus. were in the matrix, it'd just get more pixels. Really, he was as big as she thought he would be, if not bigger. Once again, Russell broke the kiss. I'm sorry, Cherry. I um I. I don't really want to go too fast. She looked at him with shock. He, she was straddling him and on the verge of taking your top off, and he wanted to stop right there. She was being purposely easy for him, and he wasn't even going to take him the they're opportunity. At the still correct? What? They're at the restaurant still correct? No. They're, they're at Cherry's house. What the fuck? I did not pay attention. <gasps> Anyways, she was being purposely easy for him, and he wasn't even going to take the opportunity to get laid on a first date. This isn't too fast for me. Yeah, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for that right now. Besides, I really care about you and respect you, so I want to get to know you more. Oh. She got out of his lap and sat in the chair next to him. Although she was confused, she was going to play along with his little game of nice guy. It's not a game! Okay! Nice guy, quote-unquote, the game nice guy nice involves guy. not so trying to go out with somebody Why and just being a general like douchebag and I pretending to be their friend until you decide one day, Oh, you have to go out with me. It's true. You have to, because I was your friend. At all. Fuck you, friend zone guys. And I'm not saying friend zoned guys, because friend zone doesn't exist. I mean, guys who believe in the friend zone. Anyways. I, I dislike that. Anyways. Alright, let's continue. My name is Cherry. My eye color is blue. My hair changes depending on what mood, which is why I seem to be turning some sort of white right before your eyes. My birthday is April 7th, and that makes me an Aries. I'm a pansexual, and I don't like wearing knickers. One time I had sex with a robot when I visited Tokyo. Um, By the way, this uh, just replaced Cherry with Thoth here, and that's me. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a nice resume you got there. What do you like to eat? I don't know. He got up out of his seat and went to the fridge. Be careful in there. I do live with animals. I'm sure it's fun. He looked in the fridge and it wasn't nearly as bad as it could be. He did live with Murdoch after all. Do you like spaghetti? Murdoch is Of course. Animal. Extra cheese? Always. So, did you sleep with her? Murdoch asked abruptly in the hopes that his night went bad. Sour old git. Nope. No? Was that? Nah, she really wanted to, but I didn't want to take advantage of her like that. I made her dinner and we talked. Murdoch grabbed a bottle of rum out of the fridge and rolled his eyes. I swear, you're a fucking woman. He stormed off back to his room and Russell no looked at Noodle, who was practically jumping in the air. Did you kiss her? Fuck, you read it. <laughs> That's, okay. He smiled at Noodle. Isn't it your bedtime, baby girl? 
Russell, Let don't it go. Ch- Russell, don't change the subject. Did you kiss her? I know you want Many it. times. Many, many times. <laughs> Noodle squealed. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I don't even know what to do. I just want to. <laughs> you seem to be alone? Yep. The fox looked at Jerry inside. You didn't sleep with him? Nope. You didn't want to? He wouldn't let me. He didn't like you? He likes me too much. Oh. Things got quiet. Goldie could tell she was upset, but he didn't know how to cheer her up. He brought me flowers and chocolates, and he made me dinner. He was nice and funny, really, really sweet. So why do you look so bummed? I... I think I looking fucking... I, like, I think I looking fucking... <laughs> I think I fucking like him more than I hoped I would. Go back down, go back down, go back down, go back down. That's the end of the fan fiction, and I enjoyed it, so I'm going to leave a comment. New apps. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you were chapters two. Hold on, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I, I. What is that? What is that? Is that letters? Huh. That, okay, that's an image! Where's the reload button? Okay, that one's 9280. Where's it 980? The right password man, it's just the room. Okay, we can't sign into fanfiction.net, so don't. Hold on. I have a lot of. Uh, oh, it's a Fisher fanfiction. That's what it is. That's, that's the email that I used. That was an accident, I didn't mean to do that. This is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Listening to this? It is, um... Every... Oh, I remember. <laughs> the password, can you guess what the password is? Dude, it's recording right now. Can you guess what the password is? No! It's gibberish. Is that it? That's... Actually gibberish? Yeah, actually the word gibberish. Giblish? We're recording! I know. They heard that! Gonna yes, they are. No, they're not. No, actually, it's it's one of the codes that it gives you. Uh, your so it's just like random. Can you draw yourself? Take on me, I should get There it is. We're not gonna tell you this. Seriously? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, you don't need to fucking sign in, dude! I do! Just leave the fucking comment! It won't, it doesn't process unless you sign in! And don't leave the fucking comment! There, I found it! Okay, I'm just gonna use this one. Oh god. You can't just give up, man. You can't just give up to the machine. Shut up! Okay, okay. I'm so fucking done with this. Just stop. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, by the way, we have a constantly changing password, so that way we cannot get... No, we have a constantly changing password because you can't remember the goddamn password. 
No, it's because I don't want to create a new one that can be easily guessed. The password's a Nobis! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, we're on track. We're on track. Remember, it's Incredilios, not Incredible Pagan. So, the box guy was not even freaking relevant. He did not work. I'm gonna fame and follow this. Follow fame. Favorite the story and the writer. Yes, Dave. You are the best. That's what I'm gonna put. Okay, okay. Wait, dude, this is just a review for this chapter, man. Do the whole thing. Do the whole time. Okay. Hello! This is Anubis. We really liked this. We would like. This was really good, man. Thank you. A good fan. Wait, this me this that the, that implies that she doesn't give us good material to read normally. Uh, some good material to read. It's nice to find a good author. As opposed to the other. As opposed to the drivel we usually read from other authors. As opposed to yeah. Drivel, not drivel. I want to put drivel. It makes us look stupid. Oh my, what are you even doing? <laughs> <laughs> Drev, drill. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. You want <laughs> to see our. Room. No, dude! <laughs> That's bullshit! <laughs> we just thank her. If she wants to. You don't be like. You don't, like, advertise on her fucking thing. You're almost as awesome as us! <laughs> Why Fiction Riot! I was gonna say, if you wanna see us read it, if you wanna see our reaction, it would be. Yes, your author would like to thank you for your continued report. Restore. How do you know the author would like to thank us for our continued support? Uh, let's see. Does Reduce. that just automatically throw, uh, show up, even if you, like, put email on it? Hello, this is Anubis. We would like to thank you. Please update this story. It's so good! Ah, uh, Russell and Cherry. Eee! You have no idea how much I squealed at the end of chapter one. It gets better. I really hope you can do this story because I'm delivering. I can't wait to read more. I cried at Murdoch calling 2D a poof. Oh, my G, that made me laugh so much. This is amazing. <laughs> People really like this author. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what else she's written. What the? It's written seven stories for Dude, Wheeler. she's got- she- her icon is 2D with another 2D mitosing off of it. It's the best. Oh, dude! What? Dude! Point fix! <laughs> yeah! You can write the- read it by yourself. You read the point fix by yourself, okay? Like, not recording? <laughs> no, you re re record it, but just- 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 just you and your hand and you know no <laughs> fucking close it up man close it up we're done that wait 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 we gotta read we're not reading crazy egypt we're gonna read crazy egypt not right now man why well, look we're gonna read crazy egypt we're only gonna read chapter one not right we're not gonna now. read all of it it's very short look at how short it is it's bullshit we're gonna read crazy egypt next episode see you guys in the flip side, in the flip side, not on the flip side, in.